Four observations, six questions. You know what you need to do when you arrive at a fire scene? Let's find out. When Captain Harrison and his crew arrived at Jack's home, they observed the fire's behavior. The engineer noticed that the fire was burning faster than expected. The crew also observed multiple points of origin. The kitchen area presented several oddities. Intense burning at floor level suggested that the fire burned from the ground up. Strange, since kitchen fires typically start from stove tops or other surfaces above the ground. The blackened countertops spoke to the fire's extreme heat. The search for incendiary devices began. A matchbook and cigarette were found near some cloth remnants. This fire was intentionally trailed into the kitchen. Trailer marks stretched into the family room and across the couch. This room did not burn by accident either. The trailer on the staircase ushered the fire into the second story. Certain environmental modifications also became apparent. Several windows were propped open, both upstairs and downstairs. Excessive fuel loads in the living room caught their attention as well. Even though the captain did not detect any suspicious behavior, his concerns were sufficiently raised after asking himself the six key questions. Was there a clear crime involved? Not necessarily, but a forced entry was likely. Were there any fatalities or major injuries? Thankfully, no. Was there major property loss? Yes, the house was a total loss. Was the cause of the fire too complex to determine? Yes, there were multiple points of origin and the kitchen burned in an odd manner. Were there any clear indicators of arson? Yes. Was the captain just suspicious? This question was not necessary in this case since he already had reason to call. As it turns out, Jack did indeed arrange to have the fire set. The investigator discovered that Jack took out an insurance policy of greater value than his property just the week before. This suspicious behavior helped prove Jack's guilt. As was true in this case, evidence of an incendiary fire is often preserved. Because the crew was careful in their observations and called in an investigator right away, the evidence of arson was maintained, allowing the DA and the insurance company's attorneys to build solid criminal and civil cases. Remember, every time you respond to a fire scene, every time, make the four observations to collect facts. Notice fire behavior, incendiary devices, environmental modifications, and suspicious behavior. And ask yourself the six questions. If the answer to it is yes, then call in an investigator to give the situation a closer examination. And remember to trust your gut instinct. Stay safe and practice this new fire responder procedure next time and every time you enter the fire. The McMullen Company founder and retired Chief California State Fire Marshal James McMullen is a court-qualified expert witness, bringing over 40 years of experience to each client and case. For more information, we invite you to contact the fire experts at James McMullen Company Incorporated, 1260 Lake Boulevard, number 226, Davis, California, 95616 or phone area code 530-757-1291 to talk to a fire expert. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.